Hey everyone, we're back at the modeling desk. Uh, today we're going to look at putting the LED inside the Details West ditch light housing. Okay, uh, ditch lights that I co most commonly use are these ones I pick up off of eBay. Um, pick them up, there's a number of sources on there, so usually I see who's got the best deals at the time. And then, uh, um, usually pick them up in several packs. Okay, this one here is the 0603. So what I like to do, there's a couple things I like to do before before we uh, mount the LED. Number one, first thing I like to do is, is I like to uh, wind up the strands here. And how I get that done is I saw a fellow on, e, on uh, <coughs> YouTube one time do this and I thought this was a pretty cool trick so uh, you just get two pieces of cardboard and you put shipping tape on one side and then all you do is you just take your your LED leads lay them across here this can sometimes be a little tricky and then you just take the, your your cardboard like this and you just start winding it up okay and uh, it I used to do this by hand and it took forever to do because sometimes my hands get really dry and I can't grip the wire very well and as you can see this is just takes seconds to do and it gets it nice and tightly wound up they don't come apart and they're much easier to work with when you're inside the shell etc 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 now my bad here is I forgot to test the LED before we do anything with it because we don't want to do all this work and then find out the darn thing doesn't work. Okay, so what I do is there's, there's a couple of very common things you can do to test it is uh, one of them is I took a 9 volt battery and I have these um, um, clips on the end and which are quite nice this comes in handy for lots of other little things and you just uh, make sure you with your 9 volts that in line here I have a, a 1k resistor now I could clip it onto the LED but there's a much quicker way and my very close friend TMN showed me this little trick and you just pick up one of these little uh, button batteries 3 volt and all we're doing is we're just gonna we just want to see if the LED works so all you do is you just take your little button battery set it in here and just uh, clip it on boom works yay okay let's proceed so we'll put our little battery off to the side okay now because on the back side of this LED you've got exposed solder solder joints there from where the uh, um, where the wires meet the LED we need to we need to insulate that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, nail polish on here you can use any color you want if you're a very colorful person person and you like to express yourself go with anything I don't care it doesn't matter so I use black just because it just uh, it was on the shelf and I just grabbed it okay so we want to do is just coat the back of that LED like this okay we just want to overdo it it's just insulating the, the solder joints okay and just like that okay next that only take a moment to dry we've got our ditch light housing here okay so what we want to do is we're going to flip this around this is my little special tool another one that I made okay we just want to put that on there alright so as you know I've said before I put two-way tape down on on the lower side and the top side top side holds the ditch light housing obviously okay now this stuff is really cool to use uh, some people call it fun tack or it's almost like play-doh but uh, comes in really handy for um, for um, holding the wires down okay now what I 
what we need to do here is we want to get this LED up inside the light housing, uh, the ditch light housing here, and we want we want the the face of the LED to be sticking up as much as possible. So I made this little wooden jig here. So we put it inside there, okay, and then by you can you can manipulate the wire here to to get your LED as as forward as possible or upright, whatever you want to say. Okay, so this goes in there. All right, there we go, like that. Okay. And then I take this and I just come down here and I tack it in place like that. Let's see, notice how we can uh, notice how we can move the LED around. And then what we want to do is get it so that it's held perfectly in uh, right there, just like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, make a lens make a lens and also we're going to hold the LED in place. Okay, so now we know it's not going to move anywhere. Okay, this this product is pretty cool. This Bondic, uh, a friend of mine um, introduced me to this and it's it's a glue which is activated by the UV light. So what we do, we can twist this around and I'm going to put a Put a little drop in there, bounces up and down. You want to get all the air bubbles out. Obviously, you don't want any air bubbles in there, so kind of bounce it up and down a little bit and then turn on the UV light. And now we're going to adhere it just like that. Okay. You can see here, I'll do it on camera. There you go, just like that. Okay. And there we go. Got a few seconds on there. Cool. All right. So now we've just done our lens. That's just one way of doing it. Okay. So we can pull this up. Oh shoot! I forgot to do the back. So what what we want to do on the back side? Put a tiny little, just a little drop in, there, just a little tiny bit right there. Just like that. Okay. Again, UV light put on there. I shield it to give it more light on it so it doesn't get drowned out by the overhead LED lights. There we go. Okay. Now it's done. Alrighty then. Okay. Like that. Nice little lens on there. Alright, let's get our little button battery. Test again. Always good to test. Test, test, test. And you go, all right, look at that. We got ourselves and now a ditch light. Cool. Okay. That's it for the ditch lights. Um, we'll find some more stuff. If there's anything you'd like to know, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video on it. Okay. That's it for now. West Coast Rails. Out.